Hey everybody, it's your lovely Lotus Blossom Lizzie, and this is kind of like a part two on um, these crafting carts that I purchased. Now one of them I got from Ikea and the other one I got from Michaels. So I wanted to do kind of a, com a review and comparison of the two since I have both of them. But before we get started, I always like to ask that you subscribe if you like videos of this type, of course. And also consider giving this video a thumbs up and that will help out tremendously. And also it helps other people to find the channel as well. So let's go ahead and get started. Now I have the two cards behind me and you can see they're very similar. They, they are different colors, but that's because they came from different places. And each place has different colors. Now, I will say that I'm in some Facebook groups that do planning and lots of people have these carts. And usually, like, you know, when they show the carts and I say, hey, I got one from Ikea, lots of people say, well, they have them at Michael's also. So I'm going to do a kind of a, a bit of a comparison here. So I'm sorry for the shakiness. I'm not really good at the vlog style stuff. But um, this one is the Ikea brand. And normally the Ikea ones run around $29, which which is still good for what you get and this one is the Lexington cart which is recollections and it is from Michaels now the Michaels one normally it retails for about $60 so but you know Michaels always has some really good coupons so I actually after coupons and discounts and stuff I actually got this one for $24 so I thought that was a really good deal and I thought I would give it a try now I do like both of these colors they fit the decor of my house and you know um, I'm not a glitzy glammy kind of girl anyway but the rose gold is really pretty and this one I forgot the name of it now this is called a Raskart and it's again from Ikea now I kind of left things on here because I've been using this one and I roll it around my house I keep it by my bed I stick it in my craft closet and all kinds of stuff so um, they are comparable in size they're about the same so let's look here so you can see let's just turn it this way and so you can see they are about the same size let's put this one in front and see how this goes I think they're comparable in size. You can see that the IKEA one is a little bit taller, and I think it's a little bit it's a little bit wide, just a hair wider as well. I don't have the dimensions on those, um, but I may put them up uh, during editing. Now, uh, again, one thing about the paint itself is that the ikea one has a really like matte finish and this one has kind of a matty kind of gloss finish if if that's a thing and then also you can see just comparing the styles of these you can look at the lips on these like the lip on here it has like a really strong lip these clearly are a lot thicker uh, made and these are a lot thinner you can even tell listen to that even though this has stuff on it, believe me, this one is um, higher quality steel, I would say. This one is a really thin steel with a nice paint job on it, basically. Now, another thing that I do like about this one is that it doesn't have like these like uh, rivets, so to speak. It's really just the screws that keep it together. Um, the screws are on differently they actually they were put together differently but they really look similar of course you can look at the base here you can also see the difference in the height and the base here but this one is shorter than this one and also if you look at the um the posts themselves you can see that these posts are a lot thicker than these are now i don't know what the weight that you can put on these are but i'm going to show you why i wouldn't put a whole whole lot of heavy weight on here as opposed to this but if you're just doing crafting stuff things are just not that heavy anyway so I guess if you were using this for tools that would make a difference so let's kind of look inside inside here let me just move some of this stuff out the way. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna kind of move things over and there's a reason why I'm doing it that way but if you look on the inside of these you can see that the mesh is very different and I'm glad I left this up under here so you can see both of them you can see through but the mesh is very different and you can tell it's very sturdy. it does not bend at all when I press it down however 
when you go over here to the recollections one this one is very thin and i know if i put something heavy in here that it's going to bend very easily so i think over time if you had something heavy in here it would kind of have like a divot because it would definitely like bend down so this is not as sturdy also whereas this one that's super sturdy this is not going anywhere you can put a lot of weight on this one and it's not going to bend so if you ever change your mind and you put something heavy on these cards that would definitely be a difference then there now i wanted to see if everything would fit on the card the way i have it on this one so already it's kind of a tight fit these are actually some planters that i have and i actually sell these planters so if you're interested i will have a link below and these are kind of just they're just made like a um kind of cardboard and has a vintage feel but i have some in different colors also but that's for another show um but you can see that they don't fit in here very well it's like a tight fit and i'm just going to put everything over here and see how that fits like i don't know okay so that's how everything would fit on there so it's a bit of a tight fit these are not sitting down because i was gonna i think i'm gonna post out the measurements you can look here and you can see that this is just a tad wider than those and even though it has like these divots here on the side that could be the difference let's look at this one see it doesn't have that it's just straight so let's just move these back yeah i can already tell it's on the fit. see those fit flat so this is actually a little bit bigger and that could mean be that could be a deal breaker for some people um just like if i had to choose for the size because of the way i'm storing things i would definitely pick the ikea one now just keep in mind that ikea has different colors as well they have the different colors in the recollections one so you could pick up I, I haven't seen the rose gold at ikea but i think that they do have it so you may be able to pick it up in the catalog you'll have to look for yourself now something else that i wasn't digging about the recollections is the paint job so when i put this together i actually showed some of the paint job here and like there's like i don't know if you can see it there there's like spots like this where the paint job just wasn't that great. I can see it down here also. So right there. So the paint job wasn't that great to begin with. And then also you can see on the inside, I don't know what that's about. Let's look on the other side. Yeah, you can see. And then if you look at this right here, this looks like a repair job actually. Look at that. This is where this comes together. So that's pretty badly made. And then it's like, if you look right here, these two pieces are not even coming together. So this is like, I don't know, this is like really shoddy work. I might end up taking this one back. And if you look at this, see how this is together? I think this is supposed to be like this, but this one is not kind of pulling apart on this one. Let's look at this bottom one. Okay, this bottom one is good to go also but again and it also looks like the mesh is kind of like an afterthought that they put on here you see that i could definitely see this bending over time because this is so thin i can see that bending over time you guys i i really wasn't happy with that purchase from michael's and i think that the price that they have is overpriced for that particular cart and the one from Ikea is definitely the better buy. Again, I got that one for $29, and I got this one for $24. But this one is retailed at $60, but I don't get that. Now, the other good thing about the Recollections is that it, on the casters, it has some lock, locking wheels. So let's go here. So you can see it has the locking wheels that you can kind of lock with your feet if you wanted to. And I haven't tried them, so I don't know. It will probably be easier to do with my feet, but you have two of those. Whereas the IKEA one does not have the locking casters, but you know what? Again, that's not a that's not a big deal because if you wanted the locking casters, you can just go out and you can purchase some casters to put on here that have the locks on them. But I, I don't really have a problem with the locking casters 
Now you can also see that the wheels are definitely bigger than the one on the recollections also. And then see, I just this my eyes just drawn to this paint job because it's such a pretty color. And I didn't really see any kind of imperfections when it came to the paint on this one. And again, you can see I got it all. It's, it's loaded up. But I don't think I can load up everything that I can load on here. And I'm not even going to try. So basically, I'm not going to go too much more in depth on there. You can kind of tell which one is my favorite out of the two. As far as... Um, the way that they are built and that would be the Ikea brand and the but But I will say that the recollections brand is very very pretty However, I don't think it's as sturdy. It's not as well built as the Ikea brand So that's pretty much my thoughts on here overall. They're both very nice um, for the price, I mean, they're both under $30, but I would definitely, I would go with the Ikea and find the color that I would like. And if I do get another cart, which I think I'm going to need one more, I'm probably going to go with Ikea because I'm not too sure about this one. It just looked pretty shoddy the way that it was built. And to the untrained eye of somebody who's not really looking at it, it might get away with it or someone who doesn't have an Ikea cart. So I definitely would go with that one. So if this is the type of video that you enjoy, make sure that you you uh, subscribe to this channel, number one. Also, make sure you give this video a thumbs up because I'm sure people would want to know the difference between these carts before you go out and purchase them. So it'll make this video easier to find. So give it a thumbs up if you haven't already. I did remind you in the beginning, so you should have already done that. So with that, I'm going to say love, peace, and hair grease from your sweet Lotus Blossom and lovable Lizzie. Have a fantabulous day and enjoy life.